Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on pie chart but involves logic. It says that every month Preet invests some of his earning in mutual funds. His portfolio consists of five mutual funds. Okay, these are the mutual funds Axis, HDFC, Mirai, uh, DSP and ICICI. So these are the five funds and it says that the amount invested in these funds keep varying from month to month. So that means the total amount invested is not same, right? So he may be investing different amounts in different months. The below pie chart shows the distribution of his investment in the first three months of a year. So three months, the uh, distribution of total investment is given. Now it is further given that he noticed that in this duration, the total amount invested in exactly three of the funds was equal. So what is given is, in exactly three funds, the total amount is equal. So let us say in January, he invested 100x. In February, he invested 100y. And in March, he invested 100z. Okay. So let's write the funds here. Access, HDFC, Mire, DSP and ICICI. January, February and March. Okay. So since the direction is this only 25, 12, 20, 21, 22. So let us write these values. You can do it without writing also, but that uh, it becomes convenient when you write values because it becomes easy to observe the numbers. And in March, it is 16%, 23%, 20%, 18%, and 23%. Right? Now, the total will be this. Isn't it? Total amount invested will be this for these five funds. Now, what is given that the total amount invested in exactly three of the funds was equal. Now, the total in three of these funds is equal. Now, how to find out that which are these funds? Okay, so let us see. Key, uh, if you observe uh, Axis and HDFC, right? The Axis is more than double, it is quite high. So, uh, not sure, but uh, I can say that Axis might be higher than HDFC. Because it is double, it is uh, like quite significantly high. And maybe we do not know Z, right? Maybe the value of Z is very high. It might equate. But for now, let us think like that. Okay. So if you compare H and M, HDFC and Mire, so this HDFC is, is low. Here HDFC is high. Here HDFC is high again. Okay. Maybe it might have balanced. Okay. If you look at uh, DSP and uh, let's let's look at these two. Okay. So if you see this, uh, this February it is higher in this also it is higher in this it is less so cannot say maybe this value is high it might balance out this okay if you look at this value right 22 21 much lesser right much less this is uh, this is way much higher okay so uh, we can say that maybe D D is higher <coughs> D is higher than I and M probably. Okay. Just see this. This 26 is much more than 16. Right. And uh, 21 is also more. It is less. So that is sort of some sort of hit and trial also. Right. D is greater than M. And D is greater than I also. Right. So uh, let's observe some more numbers. We'll, we'll get some conclusion. Okay. Now this uh, I and uh, let's take this. A and uh, A and M. A is higher. A is higher. Right. Uh, significantly high. Right. Here it is much, much higher. So A is less than, more than M also. We can assume. Right. We are not getting an accurate thing. But by just observing the values, we are trying to figure out. Okay. So like using common sense, uh, can we say that A is somewhat a high value? Right, because A is high, high in uh, highest in two of the months, and in this also uh, maybe it is uh, total might be higher. Okay, 
if you see this uh, i versus m i versus m this is high this is here it is higher here it is higher but here it is higher so can we say i m uh, can be equal i h if you see this is very very high this is very very high this is equal right so we can take a guess that h m and i are equal okay educated guess it is not some random guess but by observing these percentages we can say that h is equal to m is equal to i okay so let us try to prove it also like if we can get it then it is great isn't it so uh, we know that h is equal to m is equal to i so if you look at uh, h in march and i in march both of them have equal investment okay h and i in march are equal right so you can say that h is equal to i so you can say 12x plus 18y is equal to this is same okay so we will not write 23z that is equal to 22x plus 11y okay so this will give you that uh, 7y is equal to 10x so that gives you x ratio y x ratio y is 7 ratio 10 7 ratio 10 le lete hain okay okay now let us uh, equate them with m also let us see ki if we get some ratio and if we are able to prove these three with a certain ratio that means our uh, process is correct okay so agar main uh, ise 700 maan leta hu x ko 700 maan leta hu isko matlab uh, total ko 700 maan leta uh, will consider is 1000 and let us calculate z based on that ओके सो एच की वैल्यू कितनी हो जाएगी एच की हो जाएगी 12x दैट इज 84 180 23z राइट तो m वी आर कंसीडरिंग कि m इज आल्सो इक्वल सो m की वैल्यू आ जाएगी 20x इज 140 राइट 16y इज 160 एंड प्लस 20z ठीक है सो इफ यू टेक दिस साइड सो यू विल गेट 3z 3z is equal to 300 minus 264 that is 36 so z is equal to 12 okay so 7 ratio 10 ratio 12 okay so you can verify the values okay so let us put these values so 84 84 and 180 that we did and 23 into 12 you will get is uh, 276 right so uh, you will get total as 540 okay uh, so this is 7 uh, 140 140 plus uh, 160 300 300 plus 245 40 and let us put here also 154 okay 7 if you put 154 10 is 264 264 and 12 is 276 that will also give you 540 right so this value is fitting this So now that was the challenge to solve this question. If you are able to figure out this, you can answer this question, right? Obviously, see what we did was we observed A and D. A and D were obviously looking higher, right? Because see, A is twenty five percent and twenty nine percent, which is higher than everybody else. Although it is sixteen percent here, but this this extra is covering here. Okay, D also when we compared with two of these, like we compared D with uh, M, we saw that D is greater than M. right and we found some sort of similarity between uh, h d and i when i compare h and d i saw that okay d is higher uh, d is uh, sorry h m and i h and m m was higher right here uh, uh, h was higher in two of the months so it equated okay similarly for i also m and i this is slightly higher this is higher this is higher so this will balance out uh, these things okay now let us answer the questions what is the ratio of amount invested in mire in jan and feb right so jan is 20 into 7 and feb is 16 into 10 so that is 7 ratio 8 the amount invested in excess in march is approximately how much percent less or more than invested in same fund in january So X is in January is twenty five into seven that is one seventy five, okay. And in March it is sixteen into twelve. You will get one ninety two, okay. It is more, 
okay it is more 17 out of 175 which is approximately 10 percent okay 17.5 or 10 percent it is slightly less but yes mostly it will be 10 only because other options are far apart what is the difference between the total amount invested in dsp and icici during the three month period see we know the ratios of this investment right we know the ratios we do not know the uh, the actual amount invested right so we cannot tell the difference part so remember whenever you know ratios and percentages you can answer ratio based questions you can answer percentage based questions but you cannot answer value based questions unless some value is given so the answer will be cannot be determined if preet invested 9000 in hdfc in february how much did he invest in access in january okay now this we can answer because the value is given to us 9000 so hdfc in february is 9000 so 18y is 9000 so y is equal to 500 right so 7 ratio 10 and a jan uh, jan pucha na? so jan uh, so if this is y is 500 okay so this should be 350 because 7 ratio 10 so 350 into 25 x is in jan so uh, 25 into 350 if you do uh, you will get uh, 870 uh, 875 and a zero 8750 that will be your answer okay all right now here's a question for you to answer in the comments if the total amount invested by him in mire during the three month period is rupees 18900 what was the least amount invested by him in dsp in a month so uh, you already know the ratios using the ratios calculate the values and answer in the comments of this video